Okay, here we go. Man, BSN, Barbecue Superstars Shopping Network. Now, uh, I've actually got a Barbecue Superstars Shopping Network YouTube channel, and we're live on there right now. And then I've also got uh, a live stream going. Uh, let's do a little Facebook Live right quick. We'll get live on Facebook. Okay, we are live on BSN. Now we are live on the Barbecue Superstar Shopping Network YouTube channel. We're live on live stream. Uh, if you go to the Barbecue Superstar website, uh, on the front of the website, we are live there. Uh, I'm not going to stay live on Facebook the whole time, but uh, if you go to barbecuesuperstars.com, we've got links to the products that I'm fixing to go over. Uh, you can buy Stacy Jets. Uh, secret ingredient uh, and we're going to go through that on uh, live stream on barbecue superstars and then we've got kino plates and we're going to be doing uh, and we've got a secret over here that we're going to be revealing uh, for all you competition teams that can't figure it out uh, I got a big secret I'm fixing to let out but the first thing we're going to do is kino plates and kino locks now if you're tired of people stealing your drinks, Barbecue Superstars can lock them up. Now this is a Barbecue Superstars exclusive. So come on over to the live stream on BarbecueSuperstars.com or go to the Barbecue Superstars Shopping Network YouTube channel and we'll be live there too. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll start off today with Stacy Jet's cooking book, and I tell you, I'm really excited about it. Uh, it's an outstanding find. You know, see like a. Every once in a while, something just a little extraordinary comes along, and you know, whenever you're dealing with meat, which I'm not really dealing with meat today, but you know, the first thing you got to do whenever you start cooking is you got to put on gloves, and especially dealing with meat, but really any food. If you're going to deal with food, you got to put on gloves. Well, Stacy Jet, man, I'll tell you, she did the deal right here. I'm really impressed with her cookbook. Uh, I mean, it's just a whole ton of everyday cooking information and big time barbecue put together. Now, you know, I think one thing that we figured out about Stacy Jet's uh, book is that uh, you can buy most of the stuff that you need to cook uh, at the regular grocery store. Uh, it's got a great forward in it uh, and quite a bit of beef to start off with. But uh, all you YouTube watchers, uh, if you go to Barbecue Superstars and look right below the screen where the live stream is, there's a link right there. Uh, Hit that and you go to Amazon and buy it. You can buy it right now. Uh, got a lot of good potatoes, steak, uh, beer braised, short ribs, burgers, triple B Wagyu pretzel, burgers, spicy cheese stuff, meatball hoagies, bison Philly stuff, bell peppers. Man, if that don't look good, nothing does. Uh, a lot of recipes, uh, hundreds, a couple hundred, smoked meatloaf, poor man's country hamburger, beef summer sausage. Now that looks like something you'd take to a tailgate, you know, 
Prime Rib Roast, <clears throat> Bison Shepherd's Pie, Coffee Rub Bison Tenderloin, Horse Radish, Henry Bean Sausage. Previously good chicken and other feathered fowl. So she's going from beef to uh, uh, chicken, sweet chili smoked wings, chicken pot pie. You know, that's been one of the mainstays of America for. I don't know how long, but well, Stacy Jet just took it to the next level. Uh, buffalo chicken chili Mediterranean grill wrap. Now this is a, a real nice. I just got home at five o'clock. I want to put something together that's good for my wife and kids and my family. And uh, uh, most of the stuff that she does here is stuff that you can cook quickly when you get home. You don't have to wait eight, ten hours, you know, put it on the smoker, which there's nothing wrong with that. But this here, put a little smoke in your chicken and dumplings. Uh, <clears throat> Southern stuffed peppers. Prosciutto wrapped stuffed turkey breast. Now prosciutto is aged bacon, really. Uh, it's like an aged ham part, belly of a hog, and cost thirty-three dollars a, a pound. We we did a big video of uh, the smoking goose in Indianapolis, Indiana, when we was up there uh, doing the Super Bowl, and uh, they got a machine that can produce it in forty-eight hours. But over in Italy, where they originated it, it takes them two or three years. Kentucky Hot Brown Turkey Burger. She lives in Kentucky. Kentucky Hot Brown Turkey Burger continued. Wow. Look at that. Feast your eyes. I'm talking. <laughs> 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 One thing about it, Stacy Jet, you're going to be eating good. Beer marinated Cornish hen with stone ground mustard Kentucky ale sauce. Holy camoly. I'm drunk already. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's <laughs> stupid good. A friend of mine, he always said that. Stupid good. Grilled duck breast with cranberry orange sauce and sweet potato hash. Now, she may have actually taken the game out of that. I mean, it's it's tough to take the game out of, uh, you know, out of duck. Not your mom's pork and lamb. <laughs> Look at there. Got her two eggs and a little sausage. Now, I tell you, Stacy Jet is well distinguished. Uh, let's see, we got. I'm getting old, I gotta wear glasses. In her new cookbook, Secret Ingredients Smoking and Grilling, American Grill Champion Stacy Jet shares her secrets to stand out backyard cooking and how to easily recreate her complex, authentic, and award-winning Southern flavors at home. Bring competition-worthy dishes right to your table with Stacy's innovative methods such as smoking meats with Jim Bean Whiskey barrel pieces for a rich and delicious caramel oak flavor, transforming burgers to taste like premium steak with chop house seasoning, or using an Old Bay dry rub to add some dimensions of flavors to slow smoke Baby back ribs. As Stacy writes, each recipe has my secret weapon you won't see coming. Some use a pinch of special spice, some feature a kind of meat you wouldn't expect. When Stacy's unique ingredients and winning techniques, you can serve next level dishes like Kentucky braised beef short ribs, smoked over cherry wood and oak wood, sweet chili smoked wing, grilled tuna burgers, and roasted red pepper mayo, and even chocolate chip cookie bacon s'mores. Whether you're in the mood for bison, beef, pork, chicken, duck, or fish, secret ingredient smoking and grilling will show you how to take your smoking up a notch. Stacy Jett was a contestant on Food Network's Chop Grill Masters, won Travel Channel's American Grill, and was awarded third place in the International Barbecue Festival. In addition to being a competitive barbecue chef, Stacy owns a catering business, Hog Heaven's Barbecue and lives in Kentucky. Now, uh, uh, very nice woman, uh, very nice person. Uh, 
I believe that she has the cooking ability, not just for barbecue, but, uh, you know, she can cook anything. And that's exactly what she does in her new book, Secret Ingredient. Now, she's got a few drink mixes in here. We got us a, a spicy smoked grapefruit margarita. Uh, she's got a moonshine drink, pineapple upside down cake cocktail. <laughs> I got to give that one. Big old hell yeah. Peach cobbler moonshine. What? Take some of that rock out and maybe it into something special. Pineapple iced tea. Oh, now that looks good. I believe that one. Right there. I believe that one gets my vote. Uh, oh, grilled lemonade. Oh, now that might be pretty good. Southern liquid refreshment and treats for your sweet tooth. Now, cheese potatoes, sweet cornbread, boozy bourbon southern sweet potatoes. Boozy bourbon sweet potatoes. That looks good. Uh, now, I'm not going to... Oh, look at here. Roasted turnip and Yukon gold mashed potatoes. Wow. Anybody who can cook a dish with turnips got my vote. That's, that's that's amazing right there. Super cheesy mac and cheese. Uh, so they got a whole section of kick, kicked up country size. And uh, this would be something that you can keep at hand's reach and go back and grill beer steam mussels. Just pull it out anytime you need it. Sweet Thai chili mahi mahi with Asian slaw. <laughs> you know, I didn't even know what a mahi mahi was uh, until that stupid movie Biodome. <laughs> Asian grilled tuna steak with Yudon noodles. Grilled tuna burgers with red pepper and mayo. Whoa. Grilled rainbow trout with goetta stuffing. Wow, she's got a lot of seafood in here. Grilled pecan bourbon glazed sandwich. Spinach and artichoke grilled oysters. Lobster mashed potatoes. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, the only thing I got against lobster, and I'm glad she put them in mashed potatoes, is because uh, it just doesn't seem like you get a lot. You know, it's like you ain't got enough to eat if you eat lobster tail. So, you know, putting them in mashed potatoes, you actually got enough to eat. Fire, firecracker shrimp tacos with avocado salsa. Uh, she's got a whole section of rock star seafood dishes. Man, I tell you, Cuban inspired pulled leg of lamb. Wow. She done went to Cuba on us. Gotta give her a hell yeah. Wow, check that out. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna give it all away, but, uh, Stacy Jet. Now, she's the future replacement for uh, the woman who likes butter and always eats butter and puts butter in everything. Uh, what's her name? Paula Dean. She she could go on any national television. Uh, cable network and be the next Paula Dean. Uh, absolutely take over where she left off, but do a better job and put healthier food out but tasting good. And uh, Stacy Jet, somebody needs to give her an opportunity on Travel Channel, any of those Spike TV. You know, you guys contact me a lot. Uh, I need to uh, get with Stacy Jet and get her a television show. So we're going to leave this sitting right over here. We'll bring it back in just a minute. But next, we want to talk about Kino Plates. Now, Kino Plates can only be found on Barbecue Superstars. What is a Kino Plate? I know a lot of you probably uh, wonder what the world Barbecue Superstars are doing with a Kino Plate. But let me show you right quick. Come on. Let me show you where it's at. Come on. Let me show you where it's at. I like that right there. 
Sorry, but okay. Kino plate is idea is based on being able to hold your food without spilling it all over the place and your drink. So let's put let's put our glass of wine or whatever you may be drinking at the time and let's uh so we're out there at the tailgate all the friends are gathered around and we got our plate we got our drink and we got our stability right here now i got it in my right hand so my left hand's free so fill your plate up uh go open the, the car door shake hands you know i'll switch it over to my left uh go open the car door shake hands you know uh, cut with a knife and you don't need a table now if you think about kids running around uh if you take your drink and you set it over here on god knows what the fender of the car uh here comes the kid they bump the car there goes the drink they just spilled it uh kino place keeps all your food and everything you got together so get your fork sit there and eat you got control of everything and you can carry this around so i ain't done eating but i want to go over to my buddy's next tailgate next door you know way on down there somewhere so hey keto blake just hey here we go take off go down see your friends you got your whole deal with it now this is a single single drink holder uh, but that's about I think I think with the rim it's a nine inch plate, but in the center it's only eight inches. Uh, this here is the answer to tailgating. If everybody had a keno plates, uh, you wouldn't be sitting there in a chair holding your plate in one hand. Now that's a nice plate, but it's it's a little styrofoam flimsy. You know that thing's gonna and. You know, we don't want to talk about the nightmare that is these super cheap plates. You know, really, that's not a plate. What this is is a liner. That's a liner for you to put in something else because that right there is going to do one thing. It's going to fold up and break and all your food is going on the ground. So this is our basic Kino plate. And... This one here is real cheap. Now, if you go to the barbecuesuperstars.com website, there's a link right under the screen for the live stream. Uh, or if you go to the Barbecue Superstars uh, shopping network, our store, uh, it'll be all over the front. Now, I put them on the very front of Barbecue Superstars so you can find them easy this morning. Well, let's take it to the next level now. Now, that there's Clemson, Denver Broncos, uh, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, Carolina. None of these are licensed. This is not a license. It costs 100000 a year to license, but they're the right color. So, you know, you go out and you buy a yellow and a black of these, and you have them at your tailgate, and you can put your own stickers on them. Uh, but they're the right color for the Pittsburgh Steelers. We got Seattle Seahawks, uh, the uh, Texas Texas team. Now he's got a ton of Texas Longhorn color. Now it's not the, uh, and we also got Seattle Seahawks green. Uh, we got Clemson and the. Uh, uh, Boise State Broncos, 
uh, correct color. Uh, that purple there is New York, uh, Minnesota Vikings. Of course, white. White is part of 90% of all the teams. There's orange and white right there. There's orange, white, and purple for Clemson. Uh, Denver Broncos. Um, you know, you see where I'm going with it. Look at the colors that we have. Red for Alabama. Uh, we got red right there in the middle's red. Now, you can order as many of these uh, separate colors right there. Red right there. Let's uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut that so we can get the Alabama red out of there. Alabama Crimson side. There's a there's a red and there's a white plate. So if you bought 20 of the red and 20 of the white, you'd be the right color code. You could just buy your own stickers and put on them if you want to go ahead and officially logo them. But one time, lifetime buy. This is just like buying plates for your house. Uh, you know, get this flimsy plate right here. You know it's just going to fall apart. You put that on there, you got something. Once you get the food on there, the wind's not going to be able to blow, you know, your food away. So, now this is made for the size of a koozie. So, you know, you got a beard, you got a Coke, you got whatever, and you put a koozie on it, and it doesn't matter if it's a bottle or a can, that koozie drink will sit right in here and it'll hold it. That's It's made for a koozie. Uh, these here are really low price. Now everything that's on BSN is uh, free shipping. So whatever price you see, that's exactly the price you're going to pay. You don't have to sit there and try to guess, you know, what kind of shipping price or how much it's going to cost. What you see is what you get. Okay, so the second one I'm going to talk about is our Mega Mega Kino plate. Now this here is the Mega. Uh, hold it in your hand. Now we've got cups right here. You can use this as your cup. Or you can put your drink in there. So, you know, now we're walking around with whatever you want in your, uh, and we're still not limited here. We can take our wine glass and put it in there too. And so you've got two beverages that you can eat. Okay, so now we've got Mr. Flimsy. We can put that in there. Or we got Mr. Big Mega. This will hold a big plate. That's a 12 inch plate right there. And uh, load it down. Walk around. Uh, it's the right color for Carolina, uh, Carolina Gamecocks, Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, we've got all kinds of cups. Uh, now, we can go white and black. Big time Carolina colors. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, we've got yellow cups for the regular, uh, for the full. Black goes with a lot of different schools. So, I mean, we can put this one right here. We can put this one right here. Uh, now, we also have condiment cups. Uh, and it's about the same as this. You can use this for condiment too. You know, fill that full of ketchup. Put your uh, chicken. Uh, Chicken wing, I mean, yeah, barbecue sauce. Put your chicken wing there, dip it in barbecue sauce. Or uh, chicken fingers, french fries, a lot of fried food if you're going to the game. Uh, put that there, you know. Or you can make both of them condiments. Ketchup there and, uh, what do you call it? Uh, ranch dressing right here. And uh, I think this is going to revolutionize tailgating. I mean, uh, you know, if, even if you look at this plate, I mean, if you really got some ribs or something on that, I mean, that thing's going to bust in two. Now, they got sturdier plates, but, the, you know, it runs up into money after a while. You buy one of these, 
you get a cheaper play, you know, get get the lineup. You don't have to have the, I mean, I think these are like 200 for $5. Just put a liner there and you're eating. Now, if you've got old people that have a cane, you know, here comes the guy, he's got the cane, he's walking up, he needs his other hand, well, he can still go over, sit down, put the cane down, and he can go ahead and eat at the tailgate. You know, if you're out in the backyard, or, you know, if you got a nursing home, and you're having a hard time ever doing an event, you know, with elderly people that can't function, uh, the Keno plate is the answer. You can take care of their drink, you can take care of their food, all in one swift moment, and it's relatively cheap. And you buy sets of these, and they're going to last a whole lifetime. And uh, the Keno plate, made by a man named Mr. Keno, and that guy is a hell yeah. So, let's see, we got... The same, like, 10 colors. There's at least 10 colors. They're all listed there on uh, Barbecue Superstars. I'm looking for the ones that uh, don't fold. You should be a pretty good stack of these. For me, these type of plates right here that are one piece, this is the one I want. You know, I think this one here is sturdier. It's, you know, it's just a good buy. Now, it's going to take a little bit of room to store it. You see how long it is. I think it's about, it's 13 inches long. Which, I mean, you know, if you're going to hold a big event, you're going to have to have something to carry the supplies in anyway. It's 10 inches wide, so it'll easily hold a 10 inch plate, well, 9 inch, 9, 10 inch plate with a rim on it. Uh, okay, so this is really the big mega centerpiece. Uh, it's worth the money, and uh, been a lot of research done on it. It's durable, it'll last forever. Uh, you go out to a tailgate and just make your life easier. Okay, so they have some complaints about storm. Keno plate. This is a Minnesota Timberwolf color. This is a Oregon duck color. Uh, now we made them so they fold. Now the whole deal with this is you've seen that other one was 13 inches. Let's see how long this one is. This one's 12 and a half, and, but it's still got the same width, 10 inch uh, pad there. But now after you fold it, it's only seven inches. So if you bought a set of four of these and folded them up, I mean, you could put them in a duffel bag, in, in a, a bag like you put on your back. Uh, uh, and but the same strength, so you know we get our big 12-inch plate. That's a 12-inch plate right there, and then we get our drinking a koozie and our wine, or whichever you know you choose to do. Uh, and. You're out there ready to tailgate. Shoot, that looks good right there. <laughs> okay, well, uh, you know, once again, two drinks. Now we got condiment cups for this. Um, put ketchup right here. Put you a drink over there. Now he's actually coming out with a uh, piece of plastic that you can stick in the back here that'll go down and it'll hold the bottom of a can without having a koozie. 
Uh, right now he's made up for koozies. But uh, now as far as colors go, you know, buy the old cheap one, a liner, and put it in there, and you're not going to have any problem walking around. Uh, you know, I got a hand free. You know, now I'm ready, you know, oh, hey, John, go over there. You take your food with you. 90% of the time, the reason you can't walk around in a vet is because of the drink. Well, you can stand there and hold your drink, and you can't eat your food. Or you can set your drink down at wherever you're at, and somebody comes along and knocks it over. Or uh, uh, you walk off and forget it. You know, one thing about big time events is the whole reason you're there is there's a lot going on. And I don't know how many people and how many times people uh, have walked off and left their drink because they're talking. Well, there's no way, I, as long as you leave it on your plate, I mean, there's no way that you're ever going to be able to walk off without your drink. Uh, now, as far as colors go, these are the Kino plates. He's actually got a uh, legitimate half and half Texas colors. Uh, there's a Texas Tech color. That's bright red. Uh, here's your uh, or uh, Kansas City Chiefs, uh, New England Patriots, uh, San Diego Chargers. Um, anybody who's got Clemson. He's got blue colors. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. See, and that's one thing you can do is buy whatever color you want and add white to it. And then for you ladies, there's your uh, pink one. If, you know, if we've got a big order, for uh, any color, we'll produce it. Now, the only place you can find Keno plates is on Barbecue Superstar, so not sold anywhere else. So, but uh, I really love this, these products. You know, I'm, I'm committed to them. So, if you order them, we will send them out right away. Just go to uh, Barbecue Superstars. Or the barbecue superstore. Now mine is barbecue superstore.org. We'll get you there. Uh, barbecue superstars. Barbecue superstore. It'll, it'll pull it up. Be down just a little bit. But if you go to barbecue superstars.com and hit the store tab, it'll take you right over and you can buy all these plates right now. Now some of the solid colors that I have. Here's a, here's a Seattle Seahawk green. Uh, he was actually from Washington State and uh, he started making these because they were near the Seattle Seahawks but uh, he was putting a sticker on it. He got a call. You have to pay a hundred thousand dollars to license anything. This is not this is just the right color, but that's 90% of it, you know, when you, and if you'll, you'll look, you know, there are some colors that I don't actually have here uh, to show you right this second. But, uh, here's a light blue, North Carolina Tar Heel blue. Uh, and I tell you, I like, I like this plate. Uh, it's sturdy. It's, you know, I'm not worried about size myself. I'll just get something to haul it with. But, uh, uh, put these two cups in there. Let's go a little Tar Heel color right here. Uh, get the white cup and the white cup. And now we're ready to tailgate at the Tar Heel game. And uh, put your drink here, put your drink there, put your fill it full of ketchup or put half of it full of ketchup. Uh, whatever you're using for. Uh, your condiment, and I mean, you're ready to go out and have a party. Party! You know, you get out there and you drink four or five beers, you don't want to be trying to hold a plate. Just uh, get this keto plate.
and secure your food. Wind starts blowing. You know, you just turn around, turn the other way, let your back shield the plate. You're standing here with a plate full of food like this, and here comes the wind. You're like, well, if you turn, you done through. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got no chance, you know. And the reason I'm inside this morning is because uh, there's 20 mile, 20 mile an hour winds outside. Uh, now here's a folding plate. There's a uh, northwestern. That's a northwestern color. Uh, Minnesota Vikings. Uh, big blue. And, and blue plate, same as uh, Michigan. Michigan blue. Red red plate for uh, 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 red and white for uh, Ohio State. So we've got the right colors, it's just uh, we're not allowed to actually put the sticker on it, so just buy your own sticker. If we put a, if we put the logo on it, it would cost you five times as much. This thing would be $40 a piece, but because it's just the right color, and that's all we've got is the correct color, then uh, you know we're able to sell them a lot cheaper. So those are the Kino plates. Now, if you want to order just a variety pack of a whole bunch of colors, you don't really care. Uh, just send a note on the order. There's a place to send a note. Just say you want the variety color pack. Here's a pack of eight. Um, if you don't care about color, Seattle Seahawk green, uh, Pittsburgh Steeler yellow, Clemson Denver Bronco orange. Here's some other people who got that color orange. If you got a high school team also, and they have some of these colors. Uh, Michigan blue right there. Uh, then you can key in on these. You do a tailgate for your high school team. Tailgating breeds the speed, the spree de corps for the team, and it makes the support and the uh, backing of the team better, which leads to championships and. Chapman High School here is in the uh, did terrible in football, terrible in football. Only the parents supported it. But then they started doing radio, and then they started doing video, you know, live video, and it built the you know, esprit de corps, and now they're tailgating, and they won the state championship. See, that's the way it works, and you build support by tailgating. Okay, now the biggest item we got. And the Kino, these are Kino locks. We had the Kino plates. Now we've got the Kino locks. Now, I know a lot of people out there who have lived in an apartment, college students. Uh, you buy a case of Cokes and you leave for class and when you get back at 3 o'clock it's all gone. Kino Locks is going to take care of that for you. Now uh, the man who came up with these ideas lived in a uh, apartment with a bunch of college students. And he'd go to work, come back. He wasn't going to be there long. So rather than go out, get an expensive room, or he's trying to be financially slick, he uh, boarded up with four college students. You know, they were all boys. He was a boy. You know, no big deal. But he would buy drinks. And every day when he came home, if he left them in the room, they were gone when he got back. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. Uh, which, you know, you get a bunch of 18, 19-year-old boys in a dorm room. What do you, I mean, apartment, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to 
and take what they can get. So one day he got mad and he works in plastics. That's his deal. He went to work and by God, he made a top that nobody can get off a can. <laughs> you can't get it off. You know, by the time you get this off, you're going to tear the can up. And then he got these cool little locks. So you put this on the lid. Now, I actually didn't believe it. I mean, I looked at, I looked at what he sent me, and I was like, there's no way that's going to lock a can. But it's some kind of tough plastic. I can't explain what it is. But, brother, when you get this thing locked on there, you see how hard a time I have of getting it loose. When you get this thing locked on there, it is not coming off. Now, you live in a dorm situation. You're at work. You know, you work at uh, Walmart, and there's 50, 60, 100 employees coming through. You put something in the refrigerator, forget it. You can put your name all over it all you want. Uh, the guy coming in is going to drink it. They got film, but they're not going to do nothing about it. I'm sick of people messing with my drink. Boom. Kino lock. Then you get this lock, and you put on it, and you lock it. Now... You might say, well, I mean, it's just made out of plastic. If they got uh, a knife and they tried, you know, they cut it off of there. What's going to happen when you start messing with this with a knife is you're going to have to destroy the can in order to get to the drink. I can think of no scenario where you cut this pressurized can <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to go all over you. It's going to, I mean, it ain't going to be worth it to the person that fights to get this off of it. It's going to be a heartache. So instead of, you know, here comes, here comes my coworker. Da, 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 da. Oh, gee whiz. Chip, you got it. Now it's, oh hell, what the hell is that? Now what am I doing here? Now on the bottom of the lock is a combination. It's two letters. And you have to take that off and memorize that combination. And you line them two letters up on a tick mark that's right there. There's a tick mark. So that's how, that's how this works. That's, that's the idea behind this. And uh, it's just enough of a problem. He developed these. He went in his room. And his drinks were always there. Now, he had to buy 12 of them to do a 12-pack. But, you know, he had to, had to make 12 of them. But that 12-pack sat there. And... Somebody did try to get in his drink, did try to break it, and he cut the can and got it, and then he knew who did it. He cut himself, too. Uh, it makes it so inconvenient. So now, four girls loaded up, they're going to the concert. Okay, oh boy, they get to the concert, and there's 15 guys there, right around their area. And all these guys are hitting on them, trying to talk to them. You know, they're at the concert. And the girls are worried about the guys spiking their drink. Well, all you got to do is lock it up with this top. Now, even if you don't put the lock in it, you've seen how hard a time I had getting this off. If you're at a concert and you're actively walking around, it's going to take them long enough to get this top off for you to see it. Now, if you walk off and leave your drink long enough that they're able to get that top off, you're not really drinking the drink anyway. Uh, but if you put this lock on it, 
and they come over and they try to spike your drink with ecstasy or whatever, you know, uh, uh, they can't do it. This is a safety feature for all young women, all women everywhere, you know. Uh, date rape drugs have been a huge problem, and this will deter a spiker. So, you know, if you're a young lady out there, go to Barbecue Superstar, and that's the only place you can buy this stuff. Uh, go and uh, buy yourself, buy yourself two of them, just try it. And right now we've only got pink and green in the locks, but uh, it looks kind of cool. You know, it's, it's pretty cool to pull this out of your purse and set it in the company refrigerator. <laughs> refrigerator you know it's going to be a lot of laugh and the comments about it but it's a safety feature and you know we had the thing where the weirdo went in and he he spiked the Tylenol and killed a bunch of people well the only way somebody's going to be able to spike your drink now is to get a needle and puncture the aluminum but as soon as they do that it's all over the place and they done blew it anyway Guaranteed not to come off. You are not going to be able to get this off. You're not going to be able to do it. I mean, uh, by the time you fight and get it off, uh, you're going to catch them. You know, it's going to be a problem. Uh, it's hard to get on there. And i got to give the man credit. And I'm sure that 90% of the people are going to look and say, oh, it's locked, and not even try it. And 10% will try it, and they're going to end up in a problem. So, uh, Kino Locks. This is the official Kino Locks sold on Barbecue Superstars. Stop messing around with uh, terror, unknown, don't know what's going to happen. Get yourself a Kino Lock. It fits on all beers with normal cans. See the normal can? Any, any can this size, normal can. Kino Locks will lock it up. Okay, now we've got another lock, and this lock right here is for 2 liter bottles, 20 ounce bottles. Really, the only difference between these bottles is they didn't blow this one up as big. It's the same basic unit that they start off with, Now I don't know if you knew that or not, but all plastic and, and you know, actually I locked up the... Uh, the Dawn dishwashing detergent earlier. You know, it could be used as a child safety feature also. But let me open this one up right quick. CB. Let me see what the tick mark is. Okay, there it is. Now I'm sure once you get used to doing this, just like your bicycle, I used to have a lock on my bicycle. And I got to where I could like hit it two or three times and open it right up. Okay, there it is. All right, this lock has got a groove that goes under this plastic flange and both of them have it once it gets under the plastic flange of that two liter drink or that 20 ounce drink right here that's a wrap nobody's going to be able to get it now he done this because the you know, college boys were stealing his drink and here we got one you know there's nothing you could do what are you going to do uh, the only thing you can really do with it is bust the bottle. If you cut that off, you're going to get plastic in the drink and you're going to get the drink all over you. Uh, and then there's the spiking thing again. You know, we, we go out to the uh, football game and young lady's walking around with a drink. She's at a party. Now, a party is the main or club, you know. But, you know, you go to a party you're hanging out with your little girlfriends, you're having yourself a good time, and you're worried about somebody. I mean, all you got to do is, if you set it down, if you're going to walk off 
is Lock the Lock, Kino Lock. There you go. And she's locked up. Now, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a man. You know, I'm sure you women out there. Chip a bam boom, you know. <laughs> uh, here's a new one. So, here's a regular Coke can. That's a new one also, but I just got it out for demo. And. The combination is. A, B. Okay, there's A. There's B. Okay, got it unlocked that easy. Now we're going to open the Kino lock. Put it on top of a can right here. And we're going to lock it. No, I couldn't do I can't do nothing like <laughs> shoot. Oh, that thing will spin around. I'm putting too much pressure on it. You gotta you just gotta be more ambidextrous than I am. But anyway. There you go. Okay, it's locked. Spin your combination. Good to go. Locked up. Little South Carolina Gamecocks. The women won the national championship. The men went to the final four. Hell yeah. And uh but lock that drink. So you know, we're talking about what? Work. Uh You know, uh, a lot of people act like, ah, oh, hell, what the heck, everybody drink all the drinks. Uh, they cost money. The safety feature for girls, to me, is a no-brainer. You know, if, if uh, that's the first thing that a couple people I showed this said was, wow, you know, I could send my kid to an event, be it a concert or uh, some kind of outdoor event or whatever, where there's young boys. And I wouldn't actually have to worry about somebody date rape, you know, putting the date rape drug in a uh, drink and then God knows what. Uh, and great safety feature. We've got a ton of these. We got a ton of these. Uh, this uh, Kino Lock for your drink is a superior product. I really like it. Um, I want to challenge you guys to buy one and try it. I mean, my God, they don't cost much. You know, free shipping. What you see is what you get. No hidden costs, no tricks. Uh, and what have you got to lose? Uh, go to work. Somebody can't actually steal your drink or, uh, you know, there's so many diseases out there now. You really don't want people drinking out of your drink anyway. Uh, you really want, uh, well, I'll tell you really what I need to do is take this off now. And Kino lock. Kino lock. Kino plate. 
Keynote tailgate game. Keynote, I tell you, man, we're going to come out with the best stuff to make your tailgate. You know, uh, tailgates are evolving. You know, for years, because of the big money, we've had the tailgate merchandise. I mean, yeah, the, the fleece, the jacket, the watch, the golf clubs, the golf tees. Uh, you know, everybody wants to cash in on the logo. But now, Barbecue Superstars is going to be bringing stuff to actually make the event easier to do. Okay, now I've got a big secret today. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on out there. Let me take just a second and make sure our live stream is good. Okay, all you barbecue competitors, all you people who are out there cooking, wanting to show up your neighbor or blow people's minds, I've found out a secret. Now, if you look under the screen on Barbecue Superstar, right down there uh, below, the live stream it's on the front of the website uh, we've got a link to SNS flavors here's their card SNS flavors SNS flavors now what does SNS flavors have to offer the barbecue cook and I've been to some barbecue competitions where uh, somebody's just winning like crazy and then you taste their stuff and you wonder how in the world did they get it to taste that way and the reason SNS flavors got in touch with me is because there's a substantial amount of barbecue competitors that are using them now So they got in touch with me for why not go ahead and put it all out there. And I might go ahead and dirty up the blender for this. I, well, it's plugged in. Uh, I don't think you actually have to blend it, but we're going to mix some up. Let me find an ideal bowl. I should have already thought about this, but uh, I got a certain plastic bowl. Of course, you got to heat barbecue sauce most of the time. When you're at a competition, you know, you have to heat the sauce uh, in order to make it put a, a, a nice even coat on the barbecue, whatever barbecue you're cooking. So of course today I got smoke rings apple bourbon which is an outstanding barbecue sauce, maybe the number one in the world. And Here's natural golden delicious apple flavor. Natural golden delicious apple flavor. Uh, now I'm sure he's got natural flavors in here where he's, you know, probably used bourbon and cooked it down. Uh, you know, it's hard to tell what. 
you know, it's all natural stuff in here. And, you know, if I take a taste of this, uh, smoke rings, it's good. I can taste a little smoke, apple flavor. Hell yeah. But we're at the competition. I'm fixing to jack this up. So I'm going to get my natural, golden, delicious apple flavor. And I'm going to bust that mug open. And all I'm going to put in a 16 ounce is just a little bit. Oh. Uh oh. Ooh, I can smell them apples. <laughs> now, here's peach. Here's cherry. Here's cinnamon. Oh, boom, bam, boom. What? Oh no. Now we got our apple extra flavor in there. Now we're going to put just a little touch. Now, if you got a dropper, you can buy a dropper. You just put drop. I can smell apple and cinnamon like crazy now. Now I'm going to get around on a little hill. And I'm going to put this on the stove. Uh, medium heat. I'm going to let it get good and hot. But really, to be honest with you, I probably don't even need to do this. Ooh, whoa. Man, that's good. Okay, so... You're in the backyard. And you're getting ready to uh, make some fish. And you want to put a little lemon flavor on it. Now, you've got the uh, stuff from grocery store in a green bottle. But you've got this sauce of yours, of your own, <clears throat> made out of olive oil and uh, some uh, strained lemon and you want to put just a little bit of that kick in the stick boom natural fresh squeezed lemon type flavor now we're talking about somebody coming to the cookout and scratching their head and saying, wait just a minute, hold up. Now, I don't understand what happened. I've never tasted anything that's tasted that good before. Uh, peach flavor. When it comes to pork, Peach flavor is always the best barbecue sauce. But let's say that you don't like that. You like smoking coals. Smoking coals has got a little orange juice kick to it. Well, you can add that peach flavor right here. Now, when you wrap your meat, if you look on the Barbecue Superstars cooking channel, and you get ready to wrap your meat, and you're making the as you, now, 90% of the people are going to put apple juice in the as you. So that's fine, but why not get a dropper and put a dropper full of natural, golden, delicious apple type flavor in it. Now, the apple juice has got a certain amount of flavor, but you done took it to the next 10 time high level. Now, there are a bunch 
of competitors out there that have already figured this all out. Now, I can guarantee you this. Oh my God. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> You get with S and S flavor. They've got all flavors. They sent me about twenty pieces of taffy. We're talking watermelon, gray, um, unlimited. I don't even know. You know, S and S flavors makes flavoring for. All kinds of candies, drinks, you know, they got like different categories on the website. Beverage. And, and you as a barbecue cook or tailgater, somebody who's just going to cook barbecue, this is a big time secret. <laughs> if you're tired of going out there and getting your ass handed to you because you don't know what in the world that people are doing. Let me show you this one more time. S and S flavors. Now, if you make your own barbecue sauce, you're making a mistake by not getting in contact with these people. Put this card right up on there and see if you can get it. See if it'll focus in on it. You can go to the website and find them. Uh, they might have some kind of minimum where you know you gotta buy fifty dollars worth or something. But you know, if you're one of those people and you've been trying to get some kind of flavor worked out in a barbecue sauce, and you keep adding the natural ingredients like mustard, you keep adding uh, more applesauce or whatever you maybe fighting to try to drive in to that barbecue sauce. I just drove it in there for you. And I just let the big one out of the loop there. And boy, she, she's good and hot now. Now, folks, we just put the bam, bam, bam. We just put the bam. In that barbecue sauce. Oh boy, that did it. I can really taste apple now. You get that apple flavor on that uh, that pork. Hell yeah. S and S flavors. A little bit goes a long way. I've got these six bottles now. I got juicy peach, Bing cherry. Natural cinnamon, fresh squeezed lemonade, sweet and juicy orange. Oh, wow. <laughs> Natural golden delicious apple. Now, another, another application for these, of course, if you're at home and you're mixing drinks, mm. Oh, that's, man, that's so good. I got a friend of mine who says, stupid good. That is good. You know, you got mixed drinks. You go out there and you chop up five or ten pounds of ice. And uh, 
put to put all your mixes and all that stuff in there, but it just don't have enough lemon flavor in it or cherry or whatever you're going after. Dropper full, boom. Uh, and what's going to happen is the people that whoever is drinking the drinks, they're all going to sit around and say, I don't see how in the world, you know, you were able to do that. So let's review everything we've done today so far. Well, uh, we've got Stacy Jet's secret ingredient on sale right now on the front of Barbecue Superstar. Go there, hit the link, buy yourself a copy of this. Guarantee you that uh, you will not be sorry that you did. And uh, Stacy Jet is a big time, big time cook superstar. Uh, then we got the basic Kino plate. Take the cheap plate, make it work. Get 200 of these for, for two or three dollars, five dollars, and you got the support. Put your drink in there, beer koozie with a koozie, and then Kino plate, folding plate. Got two places for koozie drinks, wine glass, uh, folds up, stores in a small space. And we got the Kino Mega Plate. Kino Mega Plates. It's really the, the sturdiest and the one I like the best. Here we are. Seattle Seahawk colors. Uh, really basic, the basic all the colors of uh, all the different professional teams. You got the two holders. Put your drink in it. Put your Kino lock drink in it. Walk around the tailgate. Get your big mega plate put on it. Get yourself organized where you can eat and tailgate and have a good time without having to. You know, that's one thing I can't stand about a tailgate. Have to walk around gingerly. Got to be careful. You're going to dump your drink. You're going to dump your, you know, you got a bunch of kids. They ain't got a chance. You give a kid a tailgate plate. <laughs> they're going to have to stand real still, can't do anything, can't go anywhere the whole time because if they do, they're going to dump their plate. And this will put a halt to all that. You can uh, walk the whole grounds. you got a way of holding and controlling your food. And so the Kino plate, uh, the Kino lock, you know, you got a daughter, you got a family, you want to protect your drink so it can't get spiked. Or you want to protect your drink so somebody can't drink it? A Kino Lock is for you. Two liter drink. It's got that plastic up under there. There's no way anybody will get that off. Just, you lock your drink, you save your food. And Kino Locks. Are a very very effective tool and it's it's a safety feature you know you got a daughter that's going to a party take care of you got a daughter going to a concert you got a daughter going to college take care of them so Kino locks Kino plates and then the last thing is SS flavors SS flavors is ready to light up your barbecue light up your mixed drinks light up whatever you want to light up they'll change the flavors they'll make the party for you let's get it started ha huh? let's get it started i tell you man i just put this in smoke rings it's already good mm. Mm. 
Next time I do a barbecue contest, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm taking those six bottles with it. You know, uh, cherry roll, cherry flavor. Uh, peach rub, peach flavor. They got pecan too. Pecan rub, pecan flavor. Apple rub, apple flavor. Apple sauce, bar apple barbecue sauce. Apple barbecue sauce, apple flavor, apple rub. Cherry Lane, uh, Victory Lane Barbecue. You know, really, as far as uh, straight up putting fruit flavors, Victory Lane is number one. They got cherry rub, apple rub, pecan rub. You put that flavor, the apple flavor, in your as you, in your barbecue sauce, and then just straight up use the regular rub. You're going to set it off. That is what they're looking for. That is the difference between a win and a loss. So get a hold of S&S flavor. Don't try to buy one bottle at a time. Buy a case. Get a case of whatever. You know, if you want apple, if you want, find out how many bottles are in the case or, or buy a, a gallon jug because you'll never get done using it. You may as well go ahead and buy some. Okay, well, I guess that's about it for the BSN for this week. We will appreciate let everybody know we appreciate you coming by. Go to barbecuesuperstars.com right below the screen. We've got the three links. I'm not selling this. I'm doing this as a favor to the barbecue community. Uh, and I'm not actually selling this book. I got a link to Amazon. But uh, Stacy Jet is a worthwhile uh, situation. So we're going to support her. She is the next Paula Dean. She is the future of barbecue. And somebody needs to get her on television so she can represent us and put a good face on what we're doing. Well, this is Daryl from Barbecue Superstar. We hope you all have a good day. And thanks for coming on. BS Hat.